Y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be checking out Cape Argo. We're going to be seeing an abandoned military base, some overlooks, hiking trails, and some touristy stuff. Everything in between. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be one hell of a fun day. And this is the first signs of the radar base. This is one of the lower buildings. As we go up, there's going to be a bunch of trippy buildings right up ahead. Although it's quite graffitied, unfortunately. Although it's just amazing to think this is just tucked away in these crazy thick woods. And the reason they did that is because it was a radar base and this was during World War II. So they wanted to keep this place as hidden, incognito, so to speak, as possible. They did not want it to attract any attention. So putting it kind of on the coastline like the ocean is a couple miles that way. It's close enough to the ocean to serve its purpose, but it's hidden away where it's not out in the elements, so others can't see it. So it's a secret radar base in the mountains. You can't really see it from up top neither. It's too, there's too many trees and whatnot around, too much plant life. And then going through this way, just, which this building is completely empty, although you have these very interesting shoots that served as a way for ventilation to go in and out of the building. I know a lot of bunkers tend to have that. A lot of the abandoned ones we've seen of military bunkers tend to be just like this. It's such a trip seeing this place, especially since it's foggy right now. It really adds an eerie vibe. One thing I believe they had to keep it extra hidden is you could see it's underground. Although on that side, since the uh, mountain goes down, it's accessible. So I believe they covered this up and kept it so that if someone goes by, they can't see it. That's why they had these ventilation, just to provide a lot of ventilation, because obviously when it's underground, you're not going to get an abundance of airflow. So it's very neat. I believe there's other buildings up ahead, so we're going to continue hiking up this way and see if there's anything else around us. I hiked that way, didn't see anything, although the main trail is right above us. So I'm going to continue on that trail and see if there's a, a second building or a couple buildings, because it'd be awesome if it was. I'm not sure how big this radar base is. I wasn't able to do too much research on it, although we got the location and that's about it. Just going through all these empty buildings, continuing up this way. I don't see anything else, so I'm just going to hike back down to my vehicle and continue onward. I think this radar base was just one building, although it's still very interesting. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it is the Cape Argo radar base. With that being said, let's continue on today's objective and see whatever the hell else we have planned. All right, so what we got right now is Simpson Reef Overlook. And the Cape Argo, it ends right there. That's the end of it. We're going to go all that way today. Although just looking at all these rocks, it's so trippy. Because when I was hiking to that radar base, I heard a bunch of seals. And the sound was coming from these ones all over these rocks. They're just all laying around. It's just, it's just insane to see that. I wish I had my... A uh, non wide angle lens on right now, so you can't see too well, although it's still quite interesting. Just the noise they make, man, <laughs> it's something out of this world. Look how steep these cliffs are, too. These are some ragged cliffs, there's no way you could get down them. Although, I'm going to jump back on the road. One thing I like about going early in the morning. Is look at this we got the whole place to ourselves i guarantee you around five o'clock this whole all of these parking lots will be filled up all right i am now at the edge of cape argo this is the furthest point you could possibly get and just this overlook is astonishing that is one mean ocean it looks cold look how blue it is 
The best travel advice I could give you from my cross countries is to always, when it comes to tourism places, go into mornings because this place is a ghost town. I've only seen two other vehicles. The rest were just state park rangers and whatnot like that. But just normal customers, so to speak, there are just two vehicles, that's it. In this hugely popular place, this place fills up around 12 o'clock. It's just, it's popping. There's tons and tons of people. And it's just not worth coming to. But in a morning like this, you're just left to your own devices and it is absolutely amazing. I don't know where it's, this is going, although it's gonna be a good one. It's paved, which, you know, I don't know if you could consider that hiking if you're on a paved trail. But just this view, is amazing i love those cliffs it just goes and goes and goes like that and the tree line goes right up to the cliff itself some of them are even falling off the cliff because over the years that erodes and it just continues to erode year after year it's just fascinating to see that and we're just on this humongous edge of this island not island excuse me but this outcropping and i believe this continues to the very end of the outcropping that's where we're gonna go End of the line for us, but do we have an amazing view? And y'all, like we're not only looking at overlooks today, I swear we're gonna go hiking soon. Like my next, I'm probably gonna go hiking at my next spot I see. We got the seals once again, bunch of rocks, the jagged ocean. It, this is what I like, you even have a river down there, like a mini river that just goes like that. Just goes all along that rock. That is so funny. And then going along, you know what? This view, give it a thumbs up. That overlook though, it's just so amazing to see. And I'm just, it's so astonishing because everywhere it seems like we're going on the west coast, there's an overlook, there's some type of scenery and none of it fails to surprise. This place is a ghost town. <laughs> it kind of is though, because you know this place is usually completely filled and popping, although today, nobody. And this is my best advice to you. If you're going somewhere touristy, weekdays only, freaking 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., after that, they usually begin to fill up. And if you go early like me, you have this whole place to yourself. We are now at Lighthouse Lookout, which I'm genuinely curious where the lighthouse is because I don't see a lighthouse. It's called Lighthouse Lookout though, so maybe there's a lighthouse, maybe not. There's a beach down below though, and you could actually hike to that beach. I'm not going to do it this time, but there's a hiking trail that goes and loops around and then you could go down into it. Just looking over, we're up on one of these cliffs. And next, we're going to take a time lapse of Sunset Beach and then continue to our next destination. So, this one, it's a pretty nice one. It's a nice overlook. So, now we're headed to Sunset Beach. Then, after that, we're going to go on a hike. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, be sure to put a like, comment down below, subscribe. And let's continue with today. Hell yeah. Tokam Point. I am absolutely down for a hike. What is this about? to coast trail beach access oh man we got a decision to make parking area so do we retreat and go back to the park <laughs> dude can you imagine we're just like parking area i wonder what that looks like and then we just turn around and go back to the suzuki that that would be so funny uh let's do coast trail and then we will see beach access because we already looked at a beach sunset beach so we will do this one in a second coast trail we go are you sure this is the coast? It said coast trail, right? This way. Looks kind of janky.
Yeah, Coast Trail. Oh, I think it means... <laughs> Never mind. I think it means this one. This is such an incredibly eerie looking woods. I absolutely love this. I've never seen anything like this before. And what I like is the diversity in Oregon. Each woods looks slightly different. This one's eerie because you have all these dead looking trees. Even though they're very alive, they look dead because they don't got a lot of trees on them. They don't got a lot of leaves, excuse me. And then down below it is all this plant life, just tons and tons of plant life. So I'm not quite sure what trail I'm taking right now. It's probably easy. I would imagine it is very easy to get lost in these woods because there's all these small trails and there's no map or any type of indication of which trail is which. Oh, uh, they were coming up. I believe we're coming up to a cliff right now, straight ahead of us. And already connected to a second trail. And here it is, drum roll. Let's see it. A one, a two, and a three. Oh yeah. All right, a little bit anticlimactic, not gonna lie, but it's all right. It's like this ginormous ravine. <laughs> hey, no, I have no objections. I like it. If you thought there was one overlook, you would be mistaken. We got a second one. All right, I, I like this one. This one beats that other one. Oh my gosh. That's an island. I didn't even know they had that. Look at that ginormous rock over there. Is that a, that's a lighthouse. I think I'm pretty sure that's a lighthouse on that. That's why they called it Lighthouse Cove or Lighthouse, whatever it was, Overlook. That's that lighthouse. This Overlook is quite nice as well. A third viewpoint? What? Yeah, see, that's where we were just at. We're by that tree right there. Now we're on this side. This might be the best viewpoint of them all. I don't know. Take your pick. First one, second one, or third one. I say this one. And down below us, that's the beach. Let's make our way down. And down we go to the beach. Yo, hey, it's like we got our own private beach right now. This is awesome. Definitely gonna be having to look around. Someone built a little structure right there. Gotta go check that out. Climbed down from up there and this beach is just such a trip because we're surrounded by these humongous rocks just all around us. There's only one way to get down to the beach and when you do get down to it, it's a very small beach, but what I like is it's a private one. You have to hike way over just to get to it, which means a lot of people don't wanna come out and see it, you know? Although this is, this is a little interesting. I'm surprised we haven't seen very many driftwood huts. Usually they're just all over the place. I wonder if maybe the state parks put restrictions on them where you can't build them or something like that. Because I remember there used to be them all over the place. Every single beach you would go to on the West Coast would be filled with those things. Just tons and tons of driftwood huts. Now that's changed. And then going up this way, it appears the beach actually continues. And that, I think that side's all private though, because there's tons of residential right there. It's just a bunch of houses. That's Lighthouse Waypoint, and that's the lighthouse. Got the wave coming, let's see.
It's incredible to see how much moss there is. It's such a toxic looking color. And then go, just going along this, got yourself a cove, which I'm sure as hell not going in. Can you imagine going in there and seeing a ginormous wave and being like, well, I'm screwed. But yeah, that's just, oh, got the wave. Look at that. Boom. All right, so I am now going to leave the Cape Argo area, and now we're going to be going up toward Elliott State Park, which is a mountain range up toward Coos Bay. Right now, we're obviously down on the ocean level, so we're going up above, and you know, that, that's what I love about going along the coastline is you have such a diverse mix of what you see. You get to see beaches, you get to see all these overlooks and whatnot like that, but you also get the option of mountainous terrain. It's not just ocean type of scenery. You just get to see all these awesome mountains as well. And that's what we're gonna be checking out for the rest of today's episode. Oh my gosh, holy oh cow. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo, I'm telling you, that was the softest sand I ever got in. You cannot slow down. I was in second gear, freaking four low, and just blasting it down the road because I know that the moment you stop, that is when you get stuck. You cannot lose momentum. You just have to keep flooring it, pushing it on that gas, keep that momentum up till you find somewhere where the uh, sand isn't crazy soft. Because that whole time, if I would have stopped for one second, that's when I would have got stuck. That's why I was going so quick. Although we got to go out that same way. That was so much fun though. I freaking my favorite type of off-roading is in sand dunes. When you get stuck on sand, knock on wood, it's usually not that bad. You could easily get yourself unstuck. It's not like mud or any of that other stuff. You know, you're not gonna get high centered or anything. You just dig your way out, use some max tracks, and then boom, you're out just like that. And this is Bastendorf beach that's the pier for it right there and then just going along just a huge beach you can see people even surf here i haven't seen any surfers yet on my road trip so that's the first time but yeah it's awesome and then going off this way this is my favorite part the sand dunes it's just look how incredibly soft this is this is what i mean this Oh yeah, and it's warm, it's hot sand, which means it's extra easy to get stuck. In fact, if you do get stuck, you know what you do? Wait till nighttime, sand will harden up as it gets cold. Might be able to get yourself out. that about popped out of four low what the hell
just hanging out with my donut, my chocolate milk, <laughs> and we're in Elliott State Forest. Got a creek right by camp today. Camp's right up this way, just hiking around. Not too bad of a state park, is it? See an interesting one, I quite like it. All right, so here's the plan. It is currently 6.30 p.m., which means it is time for me to go. I'm going to edit this video, head to bed, then continue onward tomorrow. Be sure to put a like, comment down below, subscribe, and thank you for watching.